Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.30 from Sadiku book. So, the question is using nodal analysis, find V0 and I0 in the circuit of figure 3.79. Okay, so V0 is this voltage across this 80 ohm resistor. So, maybe let's, let's set this node here as our ground where the voltage here is equal to 0. And this is V0 from the ground. So this node here will be V0. And then we have a voltage source here. And the positive side is here. So this is 96 volt less than this node here. So this one will be V0 minus 96. So I'll have V0 minus 96. Okay. And what else can we get from here? This node here is 80 volt from the ground. So I will have this node here is 80 volt. And then what else that we can get from here? And this part here is 4V0. So I will have this node here is 4V0. Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe for this one is going to the right. This also going to the right and this also going to the right and let's name this node here as VA and we already know that this node here is V0 so we can do KCL at VA and V0 we should have two equations with two variables from that and let's see what can we get here and this branch here the current is going up, so I assume this will go like this. And then finally for this one, I assume it's going down. Okay, now let's do KCL at VA. KCL at VA. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in into VA is this one here. So I will have 80 minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. So I will have 80 minus VA divided by 10. <coughs> and then that will equal to this one here. I will have VA minus 4V0 then divided by 20. Okay, that's good. And then plus this part here that will be VA minus this voltage here. So I will have VA minus V0 minus 96 and divided by the resistance between them. So I will have 40 ohm. Good. I think we can do simple arithmetic by multiplying both sides by 40 because 40 is multiplies of all the denominator, right? So they will cancel out into an integer. So 10 and 40 will cancel into 4. So I will have 320 minus 4VA and then that will equal to 20 and 40 will cancel into 2. So I will have 2VA minus 8V0 and then 40 and 40 will cancel each other so I need to take care of this one so I'll have plus VA minus V0 and then plus 96 right because minus and minus becomes positive okay I think that is good now so I will have 320 and then minus 96 good and then for VA I will have 3 VA and then plus 4 so I will have 7 VA and then I will have minus 8 V0 minus V0 so I will have minus 9 V0 Okay, I can write this on the left hand side. So 7VA minus 9V0 and that will equal to 320 minus 96. What is it? 
that will be 224. Okay, let's save this as equation number one. And now we need to do another KCL, but this time at T0. So we will have KCL at T0. The sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. <coughs> there are two currents that goes in, which is this one and this one here. So for this one, I will have this one because I can calculate from the resistor, not from the voltage source. And it is in series, so the current will be the same, right? So we will have VA minus V0 minus 96 divided by 40. Okay, that is this first current. And then this one, that will be plus 2I0, okay? But then I0 is this one, okay? So I will have this again, right? Because I0 is the current that pass through this one here. Okay, so I will have 2 multiplied by VA and then minus V0 minus 96 here and that is divided by 40. And the only current that goes out is this one, which is V0 minus 0. Okay, so I will have V0 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, I will have AD. Okay. Now what can we do? We multiply both sides by AD. Alright. So this will cancel into 2. So I will have 2VA. And then minus 2 V0 minus 96. Okay, and then this one, 40 and 80 will cancel into 2, but 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So I will have 4 VA minus 4 V0 minus 96 and all of that will equal to V0. Let's do some arithmetic here. So we will have 6 VA and then minus 6 V0 minus 96 and that will equal to V0. Okay and I think we can do some simple arithmetic. 6 VA minus 6 V0 and then plus what is 96 multiplied by 6 that will be 576 and that will equal to V0 but then let's move this to the left hand side so I will have 6 VA minus 7 V0 and all of that will equal to minus 576 Okay, let's save that as equation number two. So we need to solve these two equations for getting VA and V0. But especially V0 because V0 is us by the question. Okay, let's do calculator here. And let's set it up as equation solver, which is number five. Two variables is number one. And now let's plug in the coefficient for the first one. So I will have seven minus 9 and then 224 good and then the second one the second equation i will have 6 minus 7 and then minus 576 <coughs> okay so i will have that is our va but we are asked about v0 so the y value here so we will have v0 is that one that V0, which is minus 1075.2. Point, point and the unit here will be volt. And this is one of the answer here. But then we need to find out I0. 
Okay, I0, we can use Ohm's law again. So I will have I0, that is VA. Uh, okay, we know VA. Uh, I think we can find out via a better route, right? From KCL at V0, right? So I will have KCL at V0. I will have I0 here. I0 plus 2I0. That will be 3I0. And that will equal to V0 divided by AT, right? V0 divided by so we can isolate this into I0 is equal to V0 divided by 240. And let's plug in V0. So I will have minus 1075.2 divided by 240. And therefore, what is I0? I think this is the job of our calculator. Okay, so I will have minus 100, oh no, 1075 divided by 240. I think that will be minus 4.48. Minus 4.48 and the unit is ampere. And this is the final answer for this question. This is V0 and this is I0. I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.